Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Brindle Floor Lamp. This is the 237660. So the Brindle collection has been, you know, overwhelmingly popular. There are pendants and table lamps and all kinds of great stuff for you guys to check out. This one is going to be a floor lamp that's going to be 60.7 inches overall height. That's the floor to the top of the shade itself. The shade is going to be a drum shade, so that's going to be 18, and that's, you know, a rounded shade that's roughly the same size on the top and bottom. 18 inches at the top, 18 inches at the bottom, and going 9 inches up the slope, well, up the side, really. Uh, let's get into a couple other things. So on top of that shade is going to be a diffuser. So this is a diffuser, <clears throat> and the reason you would use this is if you're looking down from the second floor, like on a balcony or a stairway, it covers your eyes from seeing this socket underneath. You don't have to use it if you don't have a situation like that. It, this will actually cut some of the light that goes up. It's really up to you whether or not you want to use it. And there you go. But it's going to be there anyway. It's actually going to be a little smaller than the shade itself. This is an 18 inch shade. This is actually off a, a much smaller fixture. Just wanted to show you what a diffuser was. There's always going to be a little bit of a gap from the edge of the shade to the diffuser because it needs to cool by convection, which means that cooler air comes into the fixture and it's expelled at the top. Okay? So after that, why don't we talk about that shade in detail. You're going to see a place over on the right hand side top where it says choose your shade materials or choose your lampshade. So you'll notice there is a whole list of fabrics available for that. You can do a couple things. So there's a lampshade materials help guide. It's going to be over on the red tabs on the left hand side. So you can go and play around in there and check that out. There's a place right above the uh, choose your shade pull down menu that says you can check a couple boxes a few boxes, put your name, email address, and, and street address in there, mailing address, and we will send you out these free swatches. So there's no better way to see these than to get these into your hand. It doesn't cost you a thing. We put them in the mail the same day. You should take advantage of it, um, and this is the only place you can do that. So there you go. <clears throat> After that, why don't we talk about lamping inside of this. A lot of people are going to ask, can I use an LED in this? You know, how big an LED? All that good stuff. Uh, this is rated for a 100 watt max, and that's going to be the, because of the heat generated by an incandescent bulb. These are the old type bulbs we used to use, which you can still use if you want. Uh, this is going to be able to let you use whatever you want as far as an LED goes, up to the point that it can't get into the harp. So the harp is the part that holds the shade. It sits on top of this. has to be enough clearance to get through. Lots of bulbs are going to be fine. This is an A19 bulb, which is what this guy is our old incandescent friend here. Next size up is an A21. You should be able to use that too. Different manufacturers have slightly different types of A19. So this is a Philips. I think this is a Cree. And you can tell they're a little different in size and width. Uh, but there's no limit when it gets into an LED of what you can put into it other than the size getting into the fixture. So you can kind of go to town on all that. It's going to be using Hubberton Forge's uh, swanky new dimmer. So this is a dimmer that's built into the uh, switch itself. There's a circuit hiding down here so you can hear the clicking on and off. It's not a three-way anymore. It's a smooth transition. So if you are going to buy your bulbs, make sure you buy a dimmable LED, and it'll have to say it's dimmable on the box. The other thing is you can choose your color temperatures with LEDs. A lot of people know that. Some people don't. I tend to like that warmer incandescent glow, the same kind of glow that comes out of this. That's going to be a 3,000 Kelvin bulb. And it'll tell you on the box. If you're on Amazon, it'll always tell you the color temperature on the description, too. These bulbs above me are LEDs. This is that warmer incandescent 3000 Kelvin glow. Some people like that whiter light, like outdoor light, and that's going to be 4000, uh, 4000, 5000. So it's really up to you. There's no right or wrong answer. <clears throat> it's just a um, preference. So there you go. Um, after that, why don't we talk about, and make sure it's dimmable. I think I mentioned that a second ago. Okay, let's go into finishes. So we have a uh, metal finishes help guide on our website. It's in the red tabs on the left. You'll notice the pull down menu up, up above on the right where it's going to say choose your finish. Those things are going to be talked about in that guide. So when you're done with this video, click on the metal finishes help guide or finishes help guide. This is a video at the top of that page, me of course, talking to you about the differences in Hubbardson Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. And there is different types of forging on this brindle floor lamp. So watch that video. I'm going to, I'm going to be talking about a chart farther down on the page. So scroll down. You'll see that chart and it'll have all the finishes that you can get this in. 
When you're done watching the video and using the chart, you can circle back down to that chart and you can click on any of those pictures uh, that say dark smoke or new steel and a bigger window is going to pop up and it's going to show you lots of samples of different fixtures in that finish. So there's a whole bunch of them there. Take advantage of that because there's a lot of good info there for you guys, okay? So we have this on display in our showroom in Vermont. We have over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures. There is no other showroom like this one. We're the biggest dealer in the world of their products. Uh, our showroom also has a what's on display page. Well, we have a what's on display page for the showroom on our website. It's back over in the red tab. So you can open that up and check it out. Check it out and see everything that's here before you guys come up. We also have a clearance center. Clearance center stuff is returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. It's 75% off, and it's an amazing deal for you. Uh, if you are going to visit us, do me a favor. Measure all kinds of stuff you can think to measure. So measure your ceiling heights. Really, very important. Measure your counters. Measure your tables. If you're going to be doing, uh, let's say, uh, pendants over a kitchen island, measure the distance between the junction boxes. Take pictures with an iPad if you've got one of those hanging around. You can bring that and we can look at everything you guys have going on. And then bring a good sized SUV because the boxes for clearance stuff tend to be a little on the bigger side. They were packed for shipping event uh, in, in the beginning of this thing. Okay? So our showroom in Vermont um, is open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. And I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. When you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There is no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. We're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. No one else does that. Some items, big things generally on pallets are non-returnable. We'll always talk about that ahead of time so there are no surprises. And um, we offer a rush program. So Hubbardton Forge generally takes three to four weeks to get product out. They um, don't stock anything for that reason. That's how you get all the finishes and shades. We can cut that time in half. It is super inexpensive. If you want to know more about it, just drop me a quick email, sales at handmadeinvermont.com. Spell out the word Vermont. Vermont, or you can call us at 802-446-2400 and talk to me about it. So Our showroom's open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern if you guys have any questions at all. Thanks again and have a great day. Bye-bye.